Hello and Namaskar viewers, I am Sanjeev Pandya welcoming you to the Text Time Show. This is the show as you know by now, gets you all the latest information that you need to know regarding your taxes. During this pandemic, a lot of things uh, have changed when it comes to taxes for personal taxes as well as corporate taxes because many things are happening. As you know that tax deadline now is going to be around the corner for personal taxes and the corporate taxes uh, which will be followed as well. So we get all the information that you really need to know from Mr. AJ Kumar, CPA and MBA with size CPA services are from located here in the state of New Jersey provides full-fledged accounting services from personal to corporate to setting up a business. And Mr. AJ Kumar is with us. Welcome to the show, AJ Kumar. How are you? I'm doing great, Sanjeev Ji. How are you? I am doing well. This is a gentleman that I see the moment he gets off the car, the moment he comes to the studio, he's always on the phone, phone, and <laughs> phone. <laughs> it's been busy. It's been very, I think, busy well, and hectic. With all the loan programs, the PPP, the EIDL, and Tax filing deadline just around the corner, as mm. you rightly put, on July 15th. Yes. A lot of people are coming, uh, and a lot of calls are coming, a lot of questions are coming. Mm. And this episode that we want to talk about today is on IRS notices. Since a lot of people are filing the taxes now, a lot of people are getting the notices. Mm. So we have a lot of people calling us uh, about the questions right. about these notices. So Correct. we created this segment to inform our viewers what are the type of notices? What should you do when you get the notices? What can you do to avoid getting such notices? But let me ask you a question. Please. Um, what are the real notices and what are the scam notices? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> there are a lot of notices that people are getting that are not really coming from IRS. Mm. These are difficult times. These are desperate times. People are getting a lot of scam calls, scam messages. Some under the loan program, people will call you and say you can get this loan, EIDL, PPP, and they will use a variance of these loan and they will try to get your information, the bank information, your name, your social security number, confidential information. Similarly, a lot of calls are coming from IRS. Oh, you did not file your tax. We know a lot of people did not file the taxes mm. because the tax filing deadline was extended to July 15. So a lot of scam calls are coming. Apparently, they claim to be from IRS or from a, another government agency, and they just say, we know you did not file your taxes. We know you owe money, and this is what you have to do. So please be aware of those scam calls. Yeah, the scam, I guess, you know, those scam artists, the scamsters are getting Absolutely. busy during this season to fool the people. But anyway, let's come back to the main topic of our show today. Um, why do people receive IRS notices? Well, there are several reasons why people receive IRS notices. The most primary reason, the very uh, common reason is unreported income. So whenever somebody makes some money, either through W-2, 1099, business, merchant service, credit card transaction, all these transactions are electronically reported to IRS, mm. reported to the state. Mm. So when people don't report all their income, when people miss a 1099 interest mm. or a W-2 income, or I had five jobs, one job was only for one week, I never got the W-2, who cares? But that W-2 was reported to IRS. Mm. So not reporting the income completely is the primary reason why people get the notice. But there must be two kinds of people. One intentionally don't report the income and the other one mistakenly forget it. Well, for the purpose of this discussion, we are let's assume it's a genuine mistake. People who are not intentionally reporting, they do deserve to get the notice. Oh, correct. We want our viewers to understand you need to, you must report every single document. Mm. Most people will get a notice only because they missed a small portion, $15 in interest. And now when the IRS looks at your tax return, now <coughs> they are reviewing, auditing the whole tax return. And they have the right to question you on everything, medical expense, donation, home office expense, everything. Just because you missed certain income, you forgot to include, you did not have the document, or you, you did not think it was important for you. Mm. Okay, now let's talk about type of IRS notices quickly. Sure, so uh, CP2000, which is unreported income, is the most common that we talked about. Then there are interest penalties, say if you file late or if you owe some money uh, from the prior years, those notices are the most common notices mm. that the IRS uh, will send to you. In most cases, 
you should be able to read the notice. It's self-explanatory. There's a phone number that's, o that's always there that you can call. It will clearly state which year, what type of taxes, how much you owe, how much is the interest, how much is the penalty. So it's all supposed to be all there on the notice itself. Okay. All right. So now what we have discussed so far is that why one receives a notice and what kind of IRS notices are there. With that note, we're going to go into the break. And when we come back, we're going to find out what should you do in case if you receive one of those notices. That's all coming up after this message. Please stay with us. <laughs> 